One. The opening of the Mars Yard by Airbus Space and Defence is one small but important step in the development of the British space industry. In 2018, the European Space Agency will send Europe's first rover to Mars to search for evidence of life. The yard has replicated the treacherous Martian terrain to put Brian, the most recent Mars rover prototype, through its paces. Brian is being designed to navigate its own path to a destination chosen by ground control. Brian has two cameras at the front which allow him to make a stereo image of the ground up to nine metres in front of him. The algorithms running on these hard drives will then plot the safest possible path to his destination, avoiding large rocks, steep slopes and any holes in the ground. He will then travel for two metres before stopping, taking more images and repeating the assessment process all over again. The ExoMars mission is the jewel in the crown of the British space industry. The British government is hoping to corner 10% of the global space market by 2030, but investing billions in space exploration during times of austerity has its critics. The Secretary of State argues that there will be a payoff for more earthbound sectors. The technology that you're developing with the robot uh, will have a cross-application in other transport systems. Uh, they're developing potentially rider, uh, you know, driverless cars and some of the technology developed here will have applications right across uh, manufacturing industry and technologies. Britain is one of 20 countries funding much of the 1.2 billion euro ExoMars budget. After the US space agency, NASA, pulled out of the project last year, its Russian counterpart, Roscosmos, came on board as a full partner. And while NASA continues to provide some help with things like sample analysis, Europe and Russia are developing new technology from scratch. It is very important for exploration and future missions and cooperation at the international level that we can demonstrate that we can provide our own technology, our own developments to join missions. An initial Mars probe that will be tasked with finding a landing site for the rover will be launched in 2016. When the rover finally blasts off from Earth in 2018, Britain and Europe's hopes of becoming a major international player in space exploration will be riding with it.